Polysport Pipe Guard. It's a piece of crap. I like Polysport in general. I'm happy to keep buying their stuff. The pipe guard is not really a pipe guard, it's just bling. Let me set this up for you. I recently got uh, my first two-stroke bike and John beats the crap out of his pipes. We've got lots of clips on Instagram where he's literally flattened the pipe and had to have the bike trucked out because it won't run very well. John, what'd you do? I broke it. <laughs> it's sticking out. <laughs> So I'm like, okay, I want to be better than that. I like to take, take care of my stuff, unlike him. So I bought a pipe guard, but the bike's in 06, and they don't make, I, at least I can't find one of those full um, skid plate plus pipe guard setups that's actually made for that old of a bike. So I thought, okay, that's fine. There's lots of aftermarket options. Um, P3 makes a nice carbon one. Polysport makes this kind of flexible one that I thought I would give a shot and it was terrible. It looked really nice on the bike. It was pretty easy to install. Didn't cost very much, so sort of all points in its favor. But I took it out and we did a big Kennedy Meadows ride. We were up there for like three days. I only dropped the bike like twice in like a semi-serious way and never really on the pipe. And I brought it back and I was pulling the pipe guard off because I was doing some other work on the bike and this just massive dent in the pipe. Pipe guard looked fine. Like it didn't actually take any damage, but it did nothing to protect the pipe. The other problem with these kind of strap-on pipe guards, um, while I'm at it, they don't do anything to protect the pipe from bending at the neck where it hits the head, uh, or where, yeah, where it hits the head of the bike. The force has to go somewhere. The pipe guard can spread it out across the pipe so you don't get as many dents in theory, although this one didn't seem to work at all for me, but they aren't gonna prevent the pipe from bending on the bike, which John has done recently. So I went ahead and bought a skid plate from Moose, I think it was, and it wasn't made, it's like designed for 17 and up two strokes, but I was looking at it and I thought, you know, that looks really similar. I can't imagine that I couldn't make it work. And I was right, I had to cut a little bit, I had to hammer a little bit, I had to use completely different mounting points and mounting brackets, I had to do some drilling, but it ultimately wasn't all that hard. It actually fits really nicely, and I'm much happier with that. Now, a lot of people don't want to run big old massive skid plate pipe guard things because you lose a little bit of ground clearance and with these metal plates if you hit a rock or something like you high center these metal plates tend to catch and if you're going really fast and you catch you can actually pitch yourself over the bars or something but here's the thing i'm not really racing on this bike like i actually need this bike to last a little bit and i'm really hard on the bike so my theory is, look, I'd rather occasionally get hung up on a rock. Nothing bad's gonna happen to me if, if that's the case. Like I'm not gonna lose a race, because again, I'm not racing on this bike, really. The pipe is like $300 to replace. So if you smash the shit out of your pipe, it's like 300 bucks. So one or two of those, which John has gone through several on his two stroke over the last decade, you're gonna pay for the pipe guard and there's really not a huge downside like so it catches and drags on a few things so get better at clearing but like if you're dragging the plate it's probably like in, in your trail riding or whatever it's probably because you're not up on the rear wheel enough um you're not waiting and de-weighting the suspension you're not doing clutch clutch dumps and all that like you're just hitting stuff so honestly I, I rarely hit the plate occasionally in really crawly rock stuff it'll it'll drag and catch on some things because again you lose a little ground clearance with it but honestly it just makes me figure out ways to get the wheels onto things instead of dragging the, the, the plate around and it's already saved my pipe in the I don't know three months or whatever that I've had this bike so I highly highly recommend going with the full wraparound actually protective plate skid plate plus pipe guard I like polysport generally but this particular pipe guard is is useless I, it's literally just decorative um, it will do nothing to protect your pipe in, in any sense so i do not recommend trying it it's it's not worth the money unless you like the way it looks you might as well just run a bare pipe if you don't want to put the full um plate on so before i let you go we make chin mounts for a bunch of different helmets link in the description these are awesome we are now making them so you can put a camera and a light on them for night riding we just finished actually our broken enduro team ours the broken enduro team that we're we ride with just did the 24 hours of glenn helen and we came in first in the amateur class so or for the amateur team i don't know and about half the team was running these these chin mounts with like the oxbow light on them in addition to the gopro and that worked really well for for the night riding it's a 24 hour ride um super cool We've had this 90 degree adapter that's available in our shop for a little while. We've just added this um, GoPro door with this little side door thing in it. So you can actually have this and you can run a cable in and plug into the USB port of your GoPro while keeping the battery secured in there. 
They're not waterproof, but they're dust resistant. They'll certainly help. It's better than just having your, your whole thing like wide open. And if you break a lens in your GoPro, we've now got aftermarket lenses that we're selling. So check out those in, in the links in the description again, check out the store. Don't buy a Polysport pipe guard like this one because it's not gonna do anything and uh, like and subscribe and then go away. Bye.